morning, everybody. It is 2.30 on Friday, August 28th. We're checking in here. Going to start off with SPY. We had a nice walk-up pattern with a breakout, and that was the high of the day. We saw a pretty sharp sell-off from that point, and since then, we've been setting lower lows and lower highs. I drew this channel lines here to show the trend we are currently in. Maintaining or attempting to maintain the 100 and 200 period moving averages right now is SPY. Those levels are 198.57 and 198.63. So we're attempting to break out of this channel right now and we'll see how it goes. A nice increase in volume here for the bulls. Excuse me. So let's check in on some of the other tickers we're watching here. SUNY saw a nice bounce off of the 10, 13, 200 period moving average support. I then suggested a bounce to the 1026 level which is what this exponential moving average was at the time of the bounce so it played out well it pulled back from the 20 period moving average resistance found a higher low and is now trying to break above the 100 period moving average resistance of 1035 if it breaks above 1040 we are going to see a nice move to 1050 in my opinion Netflix currently at some critical support the 100 and 200 period moving average there's been support here previously in the day and although it did break below it recently it is now testing it again a nice bullish candlestick here a hammer where the bulls bought up that support we'll see if we can get a turnaround here and a break of the 118 level would be a bullish sign for Netflix Here is Apple also setting lower lows and lower highs looking very similar to SPY although it has a little bit more wiggle room before testing its 200 and 100 period moving average support levels. Those levels are 112.37 and 112.44. If we were to see a break of 112.92 we can call it just 113. A break of 113 is going to be bullish for Apple. Looking at Tesla here. Tesla's in a very consolidated range after the initial breakout this morning. It set a load back here of 246.59, which was a lower low, so that's worth noting, and it is setting high, uh, lower high patterns. Currently getting rejected from the 20 period moving average resistance. That level is 248.38. So we'll have to see if either we're going to get a break of 249, which would be bullish or a break to the downside of 246.59 would be bearish. 100 period moving average support of 245.41 down here. Uh, Tesla is in a much tighter range and not reacting as much to SPY. PCLN currently getting rejected from 20 period and 100 period moving average resistance. Those levels are 121 1251.31 and 1250.54. If we see a break of the low of the day, that will be very bearish, and a head down to 1237 will be next. Definitely a bearish downtrend since we saw the high of the day. Google is also in a downtrend after getting rejected from the 100 period moving average resistance. We had a low setback here of 654.22 and a low here of 654.33. So it is a higher low right now at the moment. We will see if it can break out to the upside of this downtrend. A break of 657.87 would be step one in that bullish reversal and ideally a break above 659 would be a bullish reversal. We have the 100 period moving average resistance to watch here at 659.54. So now we're going to look at the pump and dump that Lottie wants pump and dump that Lottie wants to look at for SPY and Amazon. And that is related to that high of the day spike that we saw on volume. And then the dump we knew was going to be a dump because the volume was very concerning off of the high of the day. 
So we had the high up here on volume. You can see the volume increasing, which is a great sign on the uptrend. But as soon as we saw a bearish engulfing candlestick where we broke the low of the previous candlestick and we saw the pullback on volume, it was definitely a sign that it was more than just consolidation. When it got followed up by another big red candlestick on increasing volume, that was a sure sign that we were seeing some bearish um, pullback here. And I pointed out after that second candlestick that it was a very concerning pullback because of the volume. So from there, we've been in a downtrend all day with some consolidation, brief pops here and there, but definitely a bearish downtrend. So Amazon, let's see how that correlated with SPY. Same thing, it was even more exaggerated on Amazon. You can see the first candlestick was much larger than the range of the last bullish candlestick, and it was a very big increase in volume, and then a follow through on that candlestick as well. So what you see is five green candlesticks, 25 minutes of climb, getting erased in 10 minutes of dump. So that's definitely the word to call it a pump and dump. Here we see a little less exaggerated for SPY, but we saw, let's call it 5, 10, 15, 20, 45 minute climb erased in 20 minutes of dumping. Thanks for pointing that out, Lottie. So here's SPY falling through 100 and 200 period support and coming down to test the bottom of this channel. First, we're going to test the low here at 198.33. And if that fails, we're coming down to the low of the day, 197.92. Any today, we're watching for a close over 307, seeing some consolidation here. Um, could see an end of day spike. Keep your eye on any for a close over 307. My gut, let's see, my gut on SPY for the end of the day. I think we are going to close, let's see, we got an hour and 25 minutes left. I think we're gonna close bearish on SPY. Uh, this resistance of 100 and 200 period is going to combine with this downtrend resistance and I don't think we're gonna see a rally into the close, but it is very soon to say that right now, obviously. And I don't like making calls this far in advance. I like reading the five minute chart and playing breaks right as they happen, but I was asked, so that's what I got. I wanna peek in on Facebook here. Facebook's having some lower lows. The 50, 100 period moving average support is 90.24. Watch for a bounce on that and a break of 9096, we'll call it 91, would be a bullish development. So keep your eye on the, the lows and the highs, obviously, of all these stocks. We'll go after Apple again here for snowfall really quick. Apple is at key support of the 100 and 200 period moving average, just bounced off the 200 period. Almost broke the bearish downtrend here. We had a high of 12.92. We needed a break of 113. So a pullback from there, if we see it break over 113, that'll be a good sign. Currently looks like it might be setting in a higher low and we still have higher lows forming from back here in the day. So Apple is not giving up yet. Fit, I can't talk about any of the fundamentals or their products or anything like that because frankly, I don't care. I just care about what the chart says and currently the five minute chart here is setting higher lows as well as we just saw with Apple. Um, a low of 33.26 and then a low of 33.58. So we'll see if it sets a higher low right here right now fighting the 20 period moving average resistance of 33.88. We need to see a break of 34.15 and ideally a break of 34.41. If it can break 34.41 and get above the 100 period moving average resistance, it will be a very bullish sign for the end of the day for FIT. I'll check the daily chart for FIT to see a 
there's any longer term trends I see. Uh, definitely looking to find support, not looking good. Low of the day was off the lower Bollinger Band of 33.10. And we've got support at 32 and 30.51. So definitely need to find some support and for the bulls to step in. Otherwise, we're going to come down and test the low of the IPO open. So let's check back in on SPY here. See if there was some bearish follow through from that support break. And it wasn't. The bulls bought it up on big volume. That's why you got to watch for the candlestick to form. It looked like we were breaking down. Bull volume showed up, held that support, and now we're coming up to test this resistance line. I drew this resistance line when I placed it at the top of this candlestick and look at the high of these two candlesticks right here and how perfectly it's hitting that resistance and pulling back. So critical time coming up here, an hour and 20 minutes left. If I had seen this candlestick uh, before giving my end of day prediction I might have swayed bullish. It's that close. I'm going to pull up the daily chart of SPY really quick to see what we're looking at for next week. All about the 10 day moving average resistance. Let me see here. 10 day moving average resistance pulled back from 199.97, we'll call it 200 even. Today the high was 199.84. Support is 198. And it is looking like, with this candlestick, it's definitely looking like if we were to close right here right now, we would see a red day on Monday. Most likely. That is what the chart is telling us. Let me switch over to Tesla. Tesla is in a very tight range. A break of 246.59 to the downside will be bearish, and a break of 249 to the upside will be bullish. We got 20 period moving average resistance has been knocking the price down. That's currently 248.26. So I want to see uh, some closes above that on the candlestick. The MACD here is ready for a bullish cross and some decent bull volume on this last hammer candlestick. GoPro just fell through support. Now we're going to test it as resistance. Those levels are 48.29 and 48.33. So GoPro definitely looking bearish. If it can turn those back into support, it would be a good sign, but giving up a good chunk of the gain so far today. Netflix also getting rejected or falling through, unable to turn or to keep these 100 and 200 period moving averages as support. So those resistance levels are 117.18 and 117.25. If we see 116.71 break, then we're going to come down and test 116.51. And if that breaks, we're going to the low of the day, 115.88. But all stocks are definitely in a downtrend of lower highs and lower lows. Ulta definitely sold off on that pump. That is a bull trap for sure. Resistance at 161.98 and 162.53. Looking at the daily chart. And an ugly rejection from the middle Bollinger Band resistance of 165.68, but currently holding the 100-day moving average support of 158.60. So 158.60 is a must-hold if we get a close below 158.60. It is looking like we're heading down to 152.50. Loco is seeing some bullish volume right now. 
trying to break out of this downtrend it's been in for most of the day. A break of 1361 will be very significantly bullish, but look at this volume. It's the highest spike in, since this early in the morning spike on Pollo Loco. So definitely broke the highs back here of 1343. So making strides in the bullish direction here. I'm going to peek up at the Loco daily chart for a second. 10 day moving average support is 1282, definitely a gap up today. But if we see Loco with a strong close here, we've got an increase in volume on the daily chart and we could see a move up to potentially $15 next week if we see some strength here. So watch Loco closely for the rest of the day. UVXY is all bullish. RSI is overbought and cooling off. Looking for a support test of 66.10. And if that fails, 64.89. SPXU is getting rejected from the 200 period moving average resistance. That level is 37.68. If we see a break of this low of 37.40, it will be bearish. We're coming down to test it right now. After 37.40, we've got the lows back here of 37.31, and then the low of the day of 36.97. Let's check back in on SPY. SPY broke out of the channel while we were looking at other stocks. Sorry I missed that, but definitely a bullish sign. We have a high here of 199.07 and a high of 199.08, so keep your eye on that. You don't want to see that be a double top there. But nice increase in volume from the previous candlestick. Definitely a break above the downtrend line, but we're going to be watching for a more Ideally, we want to get above 199.23. That will be a great sign for a strong end of day for SPY. SUNY responding to SPY, breaking above the 100 period moving average resistance. That level of support is now 1035. Back here, we had highs of 1040. So breaking that is a good bullish sign. Nice volume spike. I'm not seeing resistance on the five minute until up here at 1069. Let's check on the other time frames to see what we're looking at. 1069 is the current target, or 1061's resistance on the 30 minute chart at the 200 period. 1048 is resistance here, so there's definitely some more support than on the five minute, or excuse me, more resistance. 1048, 1045. Watch SUNY closely because it has some resistance to get through in order to prove itself. So there's SPY, a more convincing break that I wanted to see above this high, and now the goal is 199.23. Break above 199.23, and we are going to come back and try and break the high a day at 199.83. Keep your eye on Loco. Loco doing really nice here. I'm going to sign off here in five minutes. Nice to see the SPY breakout. And now on any back test, we want to see the 100 and 200 period moving average support hold more significantly than it did back here because we did see a big dip below it.
Seeing a little bit of a pullback here on SPY. We'd like to see a close over 199 on the five minute chart with less than a minute to go here. Looking like it didn't happen, but. Look at some other time frames here for SPY to see what kind of resistance we're looking at. And not seeing any moving average resistances in the way currently. So looking pretty good for SPY end of day here. When I was asked what my feelings were at the end of the day, I leaned bearish on this candlestick when it was trading down here. And then 10 minutes later, this break of trend would certainly greatly affect my answer. Tesla just got over the 20 period moving average resistance. That's a good sign. Now we just need a break of 249. Nice volume, the previous five minute candlestick. I don't use the upper and lower Bollinger Bands on my five minute chart. It would be too cluttered for me. Seeing a little bit of indecision with this candlestick, not much of a range at all, although still four minutes left. Support is 198.83. At this point, Lottie, I wouldn't, um, I mean, yesterday I wasn't even a big believer in this oil spike would continue, but after two huge days for oil, I'm just staying away from it. There's there's a plenty of opportunity in stocks. Definitely missed a big bounce there. Um, but it's the kind of thing where I'm not comfortable judging how strong the bullish bounce for oil is. For Tesla, yes, the 100 and 200 period moving average support on the five minute chart has been below it pretty much all day. So here's SPY pulling back. We're going to watch volume. It's going to be a decrease in volume, which is a good sign for the bulls. All right, I'm going to sign off here. We're going to be watching for SPY to hold these key support levels and looking like the end of the day will be bullish. We've got an hour and seven minutes left. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll see you in the chat room.